This week on Nova Aerial, we're going to look at the five steps you need to do to become a professional drone pilot. But first, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're always current with us. Nova Aerial and if you're new to the channel we talk drones and drone related content like gear reviews, tips and tricks, drone news and more. So give me a thumbs up and let's dive in. Now a question I've gotten many times is how can I become a professional drone pilot? Here are the five basic steps. Number one, practice, practice, practice. Now this means not only learning how to fly the aircraft and fly it well, making sure all your transitions are smooth, everything is stable, and handles clearly, but also practice the type of filming that you're going to be doing. So if you're going to be doing real estate filming, then practice filming houses and commercial properties. If you're going to be doing event work, practice filming events. All those kinds of things. So you want to develop your, your skill set for the industry you're going to be focusing on. Next, is get that remote pilot certificate from the FAA, known as the Part 107. Fairly straightforward 150 question test. Now there are a lot of prep uh, videos out on YouTube. I've dropped a link, link to a couple of them in the description below. You know, the part of this, is I'm sure you'll ask, is do I really need this thing, this Part 107? Short answer, yes, you do. If you're going to be doing anything that could be considered in furtherance of a business, so, if your pictures are going to be utilized by a real estate agent to sell houses, if you're going to, if your pictures are going to end up on a website at, for a business or an organization, things of that nature, even if you're doing a YouTube channel and you want to be able to monetize at some point with your drone videos, then you're going to need that part 107. Simple as that. The next piece is to put together a demo reel of what you can do. Uh, kind of ties back into the practice piece because while you're practicing you can get in good filming and to be able to use stuff for your demo reel. You know, we're talking putting together one for your real estate clients, showing off how you can video houses, how you can video commercial properties, putting another one together for your event work, showing off how you can video someone's wedding or a concert or what have you, things of that nature. So have not only the one demo reel, the general one, but also several others that are more specific. The idea is that you want the client to be able to see your website, see your video, and go, I want to hire that guy right away. And they want to, and they know you're professional and they want to talk to you about it. So make sure that your demo reels are focused that way. The other important piece, of course, is insurance. Insurance is very important to have in this, in this line of work. There are several different options out there, and by all means, do your research find what's right for you. Personally, I use a company called Verifly. It's an app on my phone, and allows me to purchase insurance in short blocks of time, just for when I need to, for, for my flying. So I can literally buy a million dollars of coverage, of liability insurance, and have it be covered for an hour or two hours, whatever. Very handy, and I don't have to worry about coming up with a monthly bill and, and things of that nature. Last step, of course, is to check and obey, very important to obey those local laws and regulations, and FAA rules. FAA has an app called Before You Fly. I've dropped a link to it in the description below. The idea behind this, it, will allow, it allows you to check your airspace restrictions, do any permissions you may need to do to get um, to be able to fly in the area you're going to fly in. Because a lot of areas require extra permission to be able to fly. Also keep in mind you know, federal parks, water allow drones, things of that nature without more research and more application processes. So make sure to do all that, to do all those steps. Now if you have any questions of course go to, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll answer them when I can. Now these tips should get you on your way, but one thing I want you to remember about all this, 
It's a marathon, not a sprint. This is not going to happen overnight. So, follow these steps. That'll get you going. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and drop me a like. Make sure you share the video. And until next time, happy flying.